In this presentation, I'm going to show you how to use Canva to generate presentations like PowerPoint slides. I'm going to use the free tool and I'm also going to make use of the AI technology. Canva offers a lot for free, but the tool can be a little bit tricky. So in this video, I'm going to highlight the quickest and easiest way to generate PowerPoint slides and save you a lot of time. I really hope you like the video and if you do, please like it, please share it, please comment on it and of course join me on my YouTube channel. I'd be really grateful if you did any of those things because it really helps my YouTube channel to grow. One last thing, many people ask me how I make my videos. I use Camtasia. If you want to try it out, there's a link to test it for free in the description. You can also buy it with a discount. I've provided a link there. And there's also a free six part course that will take you through everything in how Camtasia works. And I'll also put that in the description. So I do have a Canva account, but I've created a completely free account here and I'm just using the free version. I'm not even trying out the pro version for 30 days. I just want to show you what you get in the basic package. So when you come to canva.com, just click on sign up. And the way that I did it was using my Google account. Now the easiest way to start is to use this search bar here at the top. And we can just write in exactly what we want. So I'm going to ask for a presentation explaining how to set up a YouTube channel. So I've written that into the search here and make sure that you click on templates because that is what you want to work with, not the projects that you've already created, but with the templates, then just press enter and it's going to start to prepare some presentations for you. Now this is a great way to work because you can click through and see all the presentations that it's produced for you. And if there's one that you like the look of, so if there's one that you think, wow, that looks interesting, just click on it. So for example, I like this one here. I'm just going to click now. And what happens is it opens it up into the screen and I can just flick through and see if I like what is being produced. That is the quickest way. Now, if you're not happy with that one and you think, well, I want to use another one, just close the window here, go back and again, flick through. Let's say, for example, this one here, click on it. And again, it will open up. We can look through the slides and see if we like the presentation. Now, of course, you can change many things in this presentation. At the moment, we're just choosing a basic template to start with. Now, I don't like this one, so I'm going to close that down. If we click through, remember, you can also just roll over it and it will kind of show you what it looks like that way. That can be a quick way of viewing the presentation, but I like to click on them because you get a bigger view of exactly what it's going to look like. So let's say I like this one. I like the colors. Remember, I can change everything, but I'm going to use this one, customize this template. So I'm going to click here and now it's going to open it up into the editor and I can begin to make many, many changes to the presentation. Remember, we've got a basic presentation. We can add new slides, we can delete slides, and we can almost change anything in the presentation. Now this screen can get quite overwhelming because there really are so many things that you can do. One of the most important things is that if you wanna flick through the slides, you can do that at the bottom. And notice also that if you just click on any of the slides, you get this sub menu and you can do various things here. One of the most obvious things that you might want to do sometimes is duplicate a page. So if I click on that, for example, I can now duplicate a certain slide. So let's start with some of these elements here or some of these features here on the right hand side. We're going to focus on the main ones. So if I come down to elements and what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the word computer. Okay, so 
so I get enter. And I'm gonna work with photos. Notice I get various things related to computer, graphics, photos. In If we just quickly click through these photos, you'll notice that many of them have the pro sign, so you won't be able to use those in the free version, but not all of them have. And there's one here, for example. Now watch this, I'm gonna just drag this free image and drop it over and immediately it replaces the image that's in the presentation. Let's jump to another slide and I'm gonna do that again. I won't do another search, I'm just gonna grab another picture. Let's say this one, I like this one, and I'm gonna grab that and drop it in. And again, it will drop straight in. So it's a great way of very quickly changing the pictures in the presentation that has been made for you. Now another really useful feature to understand is simply changing the colors, the design of your presentation. And there are actually quite a few ways that we can do that. So we're gonna keep it simple. One of the most obvious ones is if we click up here on the background color, we can simply change the background color. Now I'm gonna give you an example by just clicking and we'll do a radical change so you can see how this can work. So if I clicked on this button here, you'll notice suddenly the presentation of that particular slide has been updated because that was the slide I had open. However, if I click here, it will apply that color change to all of the slides. Now remember, if you make a change and then you're not happy with your change, you can always click on this button here and that will undo everything and bring it back again. Now of course, there are lots of other changes that you can make. Let's come down to text. And first of all, just to point out that you can go on to the presentation, any of your slides. So let's just work, for example, with the first one and change anything. For example, I can click on a piece of text and just delete it. If I don't want that there, okay? Or I can click on a piece of text and I can begin to expand it. I've got various ways of expanding. I can pull things out and make them bigger that way. Or if I've clicked on that text, I could begin to expand the size of the text by just simply clicking at the top. So if I didn't like that, click on it and delete. So you've got amazing amount of flexibility when working with the slides. Just a super quick break from the video. If you do like what you're seeing and you want more free videos, come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. I specialize in making videos for language teachers and language students, and I show them how to introduce technology into their teaching and learning. You'll find loads and loads of content, particularly the AI technologies that are becoming very, very popular now. If you want to follow more, then sign up to my newsletter. You get updated with all the latest videos and the webinars and the courses that we run. But also there is a 14 part course, a video course, where I show you some of the key technologies in language teaching and learning. There are no tricks, nearly everything that I show you is completely for free. And finally, if you do want to go that bit further and study with me and actually meet me online, I do have Patreon. Patreon means that every month you meet me for a webinar online where I train you in a certain technology, so this is particularly useful for teachers. And you also get three additional videos every month and there are no advertisements or anything, it's just pure and utter training. And the cost of that is $6. Right, let's get back to the video. So this is something you've got to practice and work with because you literally can click on anything, just click on it once and then it gives you the option to just delete. If you really want to do that, you could obviously just delete literally everything on the screen and then add your own titles. Now, how do you add your own titles? Well, you come over to here and you're probably going to have various options, but I'm going to drag this one here, drag it onto the screen. I'm going to go up to the top first of all and just click on the color and make sure that I've got that set to a light color or nearly a white color. And now I'm gonna write the heading. So I'm gonna call this U, sorry, let me just delete what's on there now and just write YouTube channel. 
I can move my mouse over and position it as well. In fact, what I need to do is click outside first and then move it to where I want to position it, okay? And again, if I wanted to have a subheading, I could click here. I can again click outside, move that to where I want and then I can write my subheading in here by deleting what's on the screen. Yeah, make money with you. Tube. So you've got amazing amounts of flexibility when it comes to adding and deleting text from the screen. And of course you could jump over to any other screen and do exactly the same. Don't forget guys, if you are enjoying this video, please like it, please share it, please comment on it, and of course join me on my YouTube channel because it really does help me uh, to get up the YouTube rankings. Remember, for example, that we've got all these kind of headings that we can use here, they're more kind of arty. Again, they come in the free tool, not all of them, but many of them do. And you can obviously, for example, let's say I delete that off the screen, delete that off the screen, and I want to bring in this, drag that on, I can place that on the screen. Of course, I can resize it and I can rewrite the words there if I want to. And not only that, I can even come up to the top here and choose a different color. So for example, again, if I wanted that text to be in white, I can do that. So you've got loads and loads of options in the way that you can work with text. Another, and this is the final feature I'm gonna show you in text that I really like, is if I come up and click on this one here again, and this is something you'll see that I use a lot. If you click on effects, the one that I really like is to come down here and just, if I just come down, I can use background. So if I click on that, I can add a background in. And notice that I can change that background. So this black, it actually works really well with the white text. But if I wanted that to be a different color, well, I could do that as well, okay? I use that background one really a lot, particularly when I'm making thumbnails for my YouTube channels, but also in my presentations. Another really useful button to know about is of course that you can upload your own images and bring them in. So if I want to upload a file, for example, I can click here and just use any of the pictures. So I'm gonna go over to my own pictures and bring in an image. Let's say if there's something that I wanted to add into my images, let's say this one here. So I wanted to bring this picture in here. I can click on that, open. I now have that image available to me. And let's imagine, for example, that I wanted to use it in the first slide, I could drag it over. And just like I can do with the images that are provided by Canva, I can use it to update my images. So remember, you're not limited to only content that's within Canva. You can import images in as well. Now, I just wanna point out another way for you to update your slides, all of the slides, all in one go. If you come up to design, click on design, and then click on styles. Now, you're gonna get loads and loads of styles here, okay? And these are kind of color combinations. Let me click on, for example, this one here. So if I clicked on this palette, you'll notice that that updates that slide, but just like with all these things, I can apply to all pages. And now, all of the slides will be completely updated. So this is another choice, and you can do this with all sorts of things, because you can even do this with the sets of fonts that you use. So for example, if I clicked on this one, it would update the fonts and use a particular set of fonts. And again, you can apply that, which you probably wanna do to all the pages to make it consistent. So you can start to see just how flexible Canva is. Now a really important thing is there are many, many more things that I can show you. I particularly like working with these elements because notice that if you search or if you do a search, let's say for example, that I'm gonna look for communication. I click on enter. You've got graphics, you've got photos, and the graphics are sometimes really excellent and I use them a lot. You can just drag them on and just like everything, you can click on the graphic, you can click here and change the color so for example, if I wanted it to, the graphic to be white, I can do that. Really, really 
quick and easy to use but what I also like if we click here is that we've got all sorts of things so we can go through frames you'll see here and click through all the sorts of things that are available to us if I for example click on photos I get square photos etc loads and loads of things that you can make use of so make sure you explore these elements because there really are a lot of them can scroll down as well but notice that you've got this subset here for example shapes which I often use as well so lots and lots of options when working with the elements button now when it comes to actually presenting you've got a few options the most obvious option is to click on this button here present and you can actually present you can just click on here and it's going to allow you to present don't forget you're going to get watermarks on the screen because you're using the free tool and notice that you can click and move through the slides okay so you can present directly from Canva if you move the cursor over to this side you'll notice that you'll better go backwards as well so it's very flexible it's actually quite a nice system to use now you may want to download your presentation as a PowerPoint slide and if or PowerPoint slides and if you want to do that click on share and what you want to do in this particular case is click on download and you're going to need to change this from a PDF to a PowerPoint slide and then you would click on download and that way and in fact it's a good idea if you're always going to do that to click on save download settings and then click on download and then it would download that slide or those slides one thing you need to make sure though that all the images that you've chosen to use in your presentation are non-premium remember we're just using the free account and some of the images may include images that are in the paid account so you will need to make sure that you are using the free images okay really hope you found that video useful and if you did please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com loads more free videos remember i specialize in making videos for language teachers and students around the use of technology in language teaching and language learning if you want to follow my work sign up to the newsletter i send out a weekly newsletter with the latest video but i also give you updates on any courses or webinars i'm running and remember if you sign up to the newsletter you'll also get the mini video course it's 14 parts and you get one video every three or four days uh, where i just show you some of the key technologies that teachers are using in their teaching and learning if you'd like to have personalized training with me and actually meet me online once a month then you can do that by joining me on patreon that way you get the monthly meeting where we meet online and we work with a particular technology and look at it in detail but you also get three videos a month extra often dealing with technologies that i don't cover on youtube certainly going into much more detail and many more ideas around how to use those technologies with our students and of course there are no ads finally if you want to contact me you can also contact me from the website if you want me to do some training with you or with your organization around any of the technologies particularly for example if you want to learn more about making videos and using Camtasia then please contact me I'm actually a recommended Camtasia trainer and you can do that from the website thank you very much and I'm going to leave some more videos on the screen that you might find useful